Hello friends, I have this old relic for a jet ski that was actually a present from my uncle some years ago and I decided to proceed with a complete overhaul of the engine and the propulsion system as they were all messed up. After about 4 years since the overhaul, I put it in the water only to find out for some reason the temperature was very high. The smoke was coming from loose exhaust manifold screws but this was not the reason the jet failed. The exhaust has a separate cooling system that relies on a small hole to provide cooling to the exhaust. It turns out that this hole was blocked by sea salt that accumulated over the years. This watercraft was never intended for salt water use, even though every time I used it I was washing it with fresh water and anti-salt products. It was obviously made for lakes. So if I just clean the exhaust pipe and put everything back together, I would get exactly the same result in the same amount of time that passed, so I had to change something and I tried to manipulate the exhaust pipe. I made two additional holes to make sure that the accumulation of salt happens at a lower pace. And hopefully, when it does, it breaks up in small pieces through the additional hole. And to make sure this never happens again unnoticed, I also bought two sensors, an exhaust gas temperature sensor as well as a water temperature sensor, which both come with two instruments that display the reading in real time. So if anything goes above the normal operating temperature, you at least have a warning before it's too late. So that's it guys, the first part of this modification is complete. Some of you may be wondering why I'm keeping this relic instead of just giving it up and going for a newer model. Well, the truth is that I enjoy making stuff work and modifying them to make them work even better and see the results. Besides, the sentimental value of this watercraft is great to me as I remember it since I was a kid. So have fun and I'll keep you posted on how this modification worked.